Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Casper Sight. How the devil are you, mate? I'm happy today because today is the day where we go back to a channel that we haven't reacted to for ages. And this, guaranteed, is just incredible. The videos that James makes from That Is Impossible or That Is Impossible. Okay? Fantastic. Make sure you go to That Is Impossible channel. Subscribe. I do the thing, okay? Like I say, he just busts out video after video and they're just epicness, okay? This one's called Mind Blowing Phenomena that are leaving viewers on edge of glory. I added that last bit. Yeah, so I suppose because I've been doing my own like weird phenomena, worldly events, uh, UFOs and ghosts and things like that, I've sort of not moved away from it, but I I've been doing my own thing. But I just thought, do you know what? It'd be nice to go back. So let's take a little look to see what James has managed to come up with on this week, okay? Without further ado, dar diddly day. Let's do this. Shh. In just a few moments. This is what I'm saying. This is exactly what I'm saying. Who was predicting raining fish? It's raining fish. Hallelujah, with a deer at the front. No, that's not a deer. Okay, whatever. Save it so! Look at that streak across the sky, y'all. 248 in the morning. I've actually got that video myself. I was actually gonna show it, but he beat me to it. No! It's flying around. Just in case it starts doing weird movements. What? Looks almost like an angel. You zoomed in? Yeah. Somebody's walking around out there very close to the tent. Have an update regarding the time traveler. Mess around. Oh, I heard about the time traveler. Little sister's camera. And we just found something. Like, look at, look at her face. Hi, I'm James the Throne in your wife. Hey, James. What's good, mate? Hey, looking fresh, my man. Watching the Impossible Channel, welcome aboard. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel with notifications on for more mm. videos like this. Yeah, and subscribe to my channel, thank you very much. Today we're going to be taking a look at mind-blowing phenomena caught on camera. From the unexplained videos of a supposed time traveler that was caught on camera this week, to a mysterious stone with supernatural powers that was uncovered deep in the woods in Brazil. Mm. These and many more creepy videos of encounters in the woods, unexplained glitches and paranormal activity. Are you guys ready? Well, let's go. I'll just Come picture out. the following situation. It's a beautiful and sunny day outside. And it you're is. with your friends or family and you decide to go for a walk. Everyone is expecting to have a great time and this is exactly what happens up until the moment that you look high up in the sky and you spot what looks like some sort of metallic object. What? I was recording video, but then it disappeared. Where'd it go? Karma I I've seen that video somewhere before. And what did people say it was? I can't remember. <coughs> Just in case it starts doing weird movements. Mate. It's predator. So you get your camera, you zoom in. And it's not an object. It's nothing like you've ever seen before. Mate! Look at that! I would love to see This is like exactly that. what happened with a family in San Antonio, Texas a while ago when they spotted what looked like some sort of flying humanoid with wings. This is what they caught on camera. Check this out. Where'd it go? Yeah. My lovely. Yeah. Yeah. Where is it? Mate. What the f is that? Where'd it go? Huh. What is that, mate? What the hell? What? 
Is it still good on you? Yeah. Can I see? Looks almost like an angel. He zoomed in? Yeah, it's all the way in. That's what she said. Can <laughs> I see it, Mom? Can I see it? Here, look. Come look at it. I can't, can't see it. At this moment, the family captures what looks like a giant winged creature. And what's really strange about it is that its wings seem to be shining. In other words, it seems like it could be metallic. I know a lot of people, you be balloon, 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 balloon. It can't always be a bloody balloon. What's even weirder is that its movement seems to be organic. So it's not a drone or anything like that. I remember seeing that screenshot actually. And I actually, because uh, I think I've put this on my channel or I can't remember exactly, but Someone was like, ha ha ha, it's a bird. No, it's not a bird. Like that. I was recording video, but then it disappeared. Where'd it go? Whatever this thing is, it seems as if it's too big to be any known animal, like a bird, for example. Strange, isn't it? Mm. What makes it even stranger is that it's not the first time that something like this is seen. Hey Yaz, what does it look like? That, it, this is strange. Actually, I've done a video on this one, this know. is strange. <laughs> Since 2017, creatures like this one have been sighted all over the world, mainly in Lake Michigan, Illinois, New Jersey, Spain, and Chile. And they saw what looked like a very large man, six or seven feet tall. And looking back, this thing rose up in the air and followed their car. And they were going over 60 miles an hour. In most sightings, what? people describe seeing what looks like a large bat or bird-like entity with glowing eyes and humanoid features. And in the ancient culture, there's loads of myths of winged creatures that can oh. fly. May. After being posted, the video amassed millions of views and thousands of comments, and people were divided. Some believe that this is just a bird or maybe a balloon. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm saying! <laughs> It's always the default, it's a bird, it's a balloon. Like, I know that's more, more of the feasible explanation, but I don't know. While others state that this is possibly an angel or some sort of unknown humanoid creature. What's really creepy about this is the amount of people who claim to have seen something similar. But when it comes to strange things in the sky, it doesn't stop there. See, it's, it's, it's strange, isn't it? Because I also... I'm hard. To, I find it hard to believe that it's a balloon or a bird, but I also find it hard to believe that it's an angel or a flying bird man. You know, it's got to be somewhere in the in the middle. Aliens, <laughs> UFO. Look at that. Oh, what? That's like a vacuum of some sort. Yo creo. On April this year, at approximately 2.30 a.m. in the morning, a woman goes outside and notices something strange in the sky. She gets her camera and immediately starts recording what was about to become one of the strangest videos when it comes to mysterious lights in the sky. Check this out. Mate, Look at this that amazing. The sky, y'all. 2.48 in the morning. That's amazing. What the f is that? <laughs> this the is a is that? long streak across the sky here at 2.48. Beautiful. A.M. Wow. I'm just getting home from my gig at Swig. That was about a week. Oh, that video started going around a week before the um, Northern Lights. Yeah, the Aurora. So my, it's not that. It's just beautiful, man. But tooth, like three o'clock in the morning. It shouldn't be anything to do with like a sunset or anything like that. Right. And I noticed this up in the sky. I'm like, I ain't never seen nothing like that. No rainbow, nothing like that in the sky. It's at night. amazing. In the early morning, we hours in the morning. What the f is that? <laughs> okay, y'all. Look, it's feedback, mate. It's I. I didn't even realize it's 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 shifting colors. It's shifting colors like a fucking like maximum RGB light sky. Tell me what's going Look. on. Look. 
But yeah, that's what's going on in the night sky here. I hear Parker see it. Blue? Early in the morning. Okay. I just it, it's to... shifting. It's it's traveling. The colors are traveling like a like a, imagine like a a roller of blue, pink, white, green, blue, pink, white, green. Just rolling, baby. It's rolling, rolling, Make rolling. Sure, I got rolling. that off. Look, Phil. What looks like a huge streak of light can clearly be seen in the night sky. The location is unknown, but several people believe that this could be in Arizona or maybe in Utah. After being posted. Several people left comments stating that this is possibly a light strobe or maybe a spotlight coming in from a party or an event on the ground. Others believe that this could be the aurora due to the fact that there will be a strange magnetic anomaly going on in the US that could actually make the aurora visible in certain states. Others believe that this could be some sort of portal or maybe a time rift opening up in the sky. Mm. Now at first, this might sound far-fetched. But if we take into consideration certain strange sightings that happened this month, like this one for instance from Buenos Aires, Argentina, where a person captured what looks like some sort of portal-like object high up in the sky. Come on, mate. Who makes stuff like that? Look at the fucking size of that thing. Look at it in comparison to the Earth, right? Look at you. What is it? It's not a balloon. It could just be that there's something strange going on, and we're not aware of it. But I'm not too sure. What's your take? Do you think that this could be just a spotlight or something like that? Or is it something else entirely? Mate, that's a pretty big ass spotlight. Maximum lumen. Have you ever heard of the Philosopher's Stone or out of place artifacts? Back in the 14th. Of the Philosopher's Stone or out of place. No, 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 no. That's got to be a joke. That has to be a joke, mate. I'm sorry. This is got. That's got to be fake. What in the Predator is going on here, mate? With that bloody thing, huh? artifacts. Back in the 1400s, a French manuscript seller by the name of Nicolas Flamel developed a reputation of being an alchemist and a pretty good one. And at the time he claimed to have discovered the Philosopher's Stone, a stone that was known to have supernatural capabilities. Now the legend of the Philosopher's Stone began somewhere in ancient Egypt, and it tells of a substance that can turn any metal into gold and grant eternal life. Interesting, isn't it? Yes. But what's most interesting is that very little is known about the Philosopher's Stone. Its origin, where it came from, and how it all started. Now even though it's considered a myth or just a bad time story, to this day researchers and archaeologists are still in search for evidence of this mysterious stone. And just a couple of weeks ago, a treasure hunter by the name of John Ventura was deep in the woods somewhere in Brazil when all of a sudden he came across this mysterious stone. Check this out. I saw this on Instagram. It's cold. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then does it get hot or something? And now it's hot. While metal detecting somewhere in the woods in Brazil, they came across this wooden box with certain details in gold, and inside of it was this rock. Whatever this thing is, it apparently can change color and temperature when someone touches it or when it comes in contact with water. In this particular part of the video, we can see it heating up the water. And then, when they put it back into the box, it gets colder and you can clearly see it changing color. What the hell, mate? What 
What the hell? It's got to be a joke, man. Up until this moment, there's not much information on what this mysterious rock could be. But I'm guessing that this is most likely some sort of ancient artifact, maybe even related to ancient myths of underground cities hidden deep within the Amazon oh, forest. Oh, mate, yeah, that's another After world, After being posted, that. the video amassed millions of views and caught a lot of attention. Many internet users believe that this could be the Philosopher's Stone, while others state that this is a carnelian crystal, and some others believe that this is red mercury. Tales about this supernatural substance known as red mercury began circulating back in the 1940s, and it was said to be a material so valuable and so dangerous that it was only handled by top-level leaders and scientists. Wow. There are many theories about its composition, but to this day, no what? one really knows what it's made of or if it actually exists. What? However, there are many videos out there of people who claim to have a hold of this mysterious substance known as red mercury. In most cases, these artifacts are said- Hey, this looks like something from the Avengers, right? That, that Thanos would have or something. This is ridiculous. To have originated from pharaonic times in ancient Egypt. And in most of the times, these artifacts have very similar supernatural properties. What? I yes. <laughs> Shit in hell! When in contact with water and certain liquids, it heats him up. It interferes with electronic devices. Oh wow, I've seen that like diamond thing before. I've seen people doing stuff with it, like heating things up and Doing something with electric or something. Hey. What the hell, man? Mate, that's alien technology, that is. It does not reflect on a mirror. No, no. <laughs> no. No. That's gotta be a joke. It does not reflect on a mirror. Are we having a laugh? <laughs> We're having a laugh right now, guys and girls, people of the world. Among many other strange properties, which begs the question. Shit, is that, is that his skeleton of his hand? Look closely in the mirror. Is that his skeleton? Among, among many other. That's his skeleton. Nah, nah, this is, nah, that's going too far, is it? Many other strange properties, which begs the question, if this is indeed real, is this alien-like artifact actually from Earth? Or was it made by an advanced civilization that may have inhabited this planet somewhere in the past? This is what I'm saying. Now, if the stone that was supposedly found by John Ventura in Brazil is indeed red mercury, I'm not exactly sure. It does seem to have some strange properties. Do you think that this could be the Philosopher's Stone, Red Mercury, or something else entirely? What's your take? Mate, what? Now, I don't know if you know about this, but every year around 38 million people go camping just in the US alone. Wow. That's quite a lot of people. Yeah. And from all of these people, some of them choose to go stealth camping, which is a bit different. Now, stealth camping is about living temporarily in a location, usually for recreation, in a covert or secretive fashion. That's my idea of camping, mate. That's proper camping. None of this glamping, right? I'm talking proper camping. We have to shit in the woods, like wash in a, in a stream, okay? kill rabbits to eat and anything else to survive that's what i'm talking about camping as long as he's got internet that might be 
And for the past few months, a YouTube channel by the name of The Northwest Wind has been doing videos focused on stealth camping. And in most of them, things go just about right. But in one particular video, he decides to go camping deep in the woods next to a park. Rain today, there's only two other cars parked over there right now. People come jog here, come ride their bikes here. It is a dog park. It's a cloudy day and Sam is prepared to spend the night in the woods. He expects things to go smoothly, but they don't. This is what happens. So that was the end of the official trail. There's all kinds of unofficial trails that go all through these woods. It's a couple hundred acres. Don't think you're allowed to camp back here, but Look in the background. I'm not camping. I'm just going to lay my head for the night in a stealthy way. After walking for about 15 minutes, he decides to set up his tent. He notices, however, that there's something strange about this particular spot. It looks pretty nice up here. I think we're going to call this home for the Oh, evening. mate, there's going to be Blair Witch shit just hanging from the trees, isn't there? Evening. It's pretty dry. Well, relatively. What do you know? This looks like a tent or a tarp. That kind of sketches me out. Um, so that's the remains of a tent and a tarp. That's right, use it, I mean, somebody's camped back here before. At this point, we can see Sam having second thoughts about camping at this particular spot. But after observing the surroundings, he camps there anyway. And this is what happens. All right, so it's getting dark. Somebody just walked by. I don't know if they had a dog or not, but they definitely didn't see me, but I could barely, barely see them. The tent does not sit high at all. I've been sitting on my Pelly case. Yeah. One thing I don't like is the low ceiling. After setting up the tent, he vlogs for a while and then he goes to sleep. And this is when things take a really strange turn. There's somebody, hang on. I don't know if they can see it or not through the tent. I don't think so. I'm leaning right up against the light, but somebody's walking around out there very close to the tent. Things get strange and creepy real quick. Oh. And Sam, now completely desperate and anxious, tries to talk to whomever or whatever oh. is outside. Mate. And this is what happens. Hello? 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 All right, I don't like this. Hello? Hello? They're oh, touching my tent. Stop. Get out there! They're right outside the tent. Hello, I'm in here. Hello? Yeah, yeah, Rambo it! Right, I'm getting the f out of here. Hello? I don't know what the f this is, but we're getting out of here. Hang on. Hello? Okay, they're walking away now. What do you want? What do you want? I have a knife. Where's my knife? <laughs> yeah, now, where's pretty my knife? scared, Sam reaches for everything inside of his tent with the intention of leaving this place as fast as possible. When he goes outside, this is what happens. Uh, yes, they collapsed yes. my tent on me. I don't know which way they went. I think they went down. Who just wanders the, the, the forest in the dead of night? Right? Have you got anything to do? I understand if you go in there camping for a reason, right? Who just wanders around a forest in the dead of night looking for tents, you weirdo bastard? Get a job! This way. I see you. Get away! Yeah. All right, I'm spooked. I don't like this. Get my headlamp on and we're getting out of here right now. They collapsed my tent on me and pulled the fly off while I was still in there. I don't know what to do. I don't know where to go. I don't know what to do. All right, they're moving again. I don't know. I'm getting out of here. We're going. Shit. I'll come back for this some other time. All right, get the hell out of here. I'm leaving. Don't follow me. Hence why the other tent, the tarpaulin, was on the floor, not picked up, just left there, mate. Somebody. This is exactly what's happened to somebody else. I don't know where to go. I don't know which way to get out of here. At this point, Sam gets the heck out of there as fast as possible, so he starts running towards his car. The only problem is... Whomever or whatever was there outside his tent seems to be following him. Check this out. Hang on, is this still recording? 
Is it still recording? Is it still recording? Right at the edge of the wood line. It's about 150 yards away. Hang on. You see that? I see you! I can see you! Oh, it's, it's getting bigger. Oh. It's getting bigger. All right, let's get back. I don't know if they're like after me or something or what the is happening. We're getting the It's getting bigger. They're coming this way. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, mate. I'm calling Calm the down. police. After a few minutes, he reaches his car and gets the heck out of there safely. Okay. All right, we're getting out of here. To this day, Sam does not know whom or what was following him around. Shit. My phone, everything's muddy, disgusting. My knee, I'm soaked. I gotta go home. All right, let's drive out. I wanna know your thoughts. What would you have done differently in this situation? Fucking Rambo there. I said, come on then. Who the hell do you think you are, mate? It's rolling punch, chop, back fist. <laughs> They'd have been gone. That's exactly what I'd have done. Since the dawn of civilization, humanity has always been captivated by mysterious and unexplained phenomena. Mm. Think about it. 500 years ago, people had virtually no means to verify their encounters with the inexplicable. Yeah. Whether it was a bizarre creature or a beam of light descending from the sky. What? what the? No. Am I tripping? What? Uh, hang on, mate. Hang on, mate. Hang on. He sounds pretty legit here, okay? Seems pretty legit. Is this because you just can't see the rest of the water? You cannot tell me that. Not floating. Like for instance, this very strange video posted by the Dash Man. In it, you can see some sort of anomaly going on in the lake. What? It's as if there's something invisible bending the fog and the lake. Now, oh even my. though some people say yeah. that this is a natural phenomena, others believe that this could be a glitch in the matrix. But this is definitely something that if you showed your friends or family, they would not believe it. Unless uh, that, that must be some sort of pocket of like different pressure or something, right? Yes, Air they pressure. saw it with their own eyes. The what ability the to hell? capture such events and share them with friends, family, or even the world is very recent. But something that I've come to notice is that even in our modern era, equipped with CCTV cameras capturing our every move, there's very little video evidence of the existence of time travel. Oh, I wanted to see this. That was the case until last week. Coming onto my property. I was going to cover this, okay? Because it was, it was hitting everywhere, like, you know? To what looks like rob my house, but it actually turns out... Just a couple of weeks ago, Alec Shaw posted a very strange video to his account. Now, normally Alec posts videos related to his real estate business. But in one particular video, just about two weeks ago on April 28th, something really strange happened at an Airbnb that he has in Miami. Something that he couldn't explain. And this is what he caught on camera. He's coming onto my property to what looks like rob my house, but it actually turns out he is a time traveler. So as you can see, he's wandering <laughs> around my backyard. I don't know what he's trying to do now he's like thinking like where to go and he actually ends up going into my shed so it looks like he needs a piss or something or crap you see he opens it goes into the shed so i'm fast forwarding the time so you can see there's no movement he never leaves the shed and i'm talking on the the camera i'm like yo what are you doing why are you in my shed ever answers he never leaves the shed i literally was watching it the whole time so i end up calling the police you could see in the last one the police coming through the front yard and then here's the police coming into the backyard and you can see they literally go inside they go inside and i'm talking to them hey can you hear me yes sir Okay. Yeah, I can hear you. At this point, Alec talks to the policeman through his ring camera, and this is what happens. 
Okay. Was he not in that shed? No, he was not. There's nobody in there. Both sheds. What the? Okay, I'm sorry for wasting your guys' time. I really didn't see him leave the shed though, so I don't know exactly. how he's not in there. At this point, policemen check the shed once more, and there's absolutely no trace at all of the young man who went inside. It's as wow. if he disappeared into thin air. Alec then posts a full video with sound of the young man going inside the shed. So this is a full video with sound. So you hear if he talks. He does talk at some point here. I've watched this so many times to see. But you can see him like wandering around. Like he throws up his arms. He's about to talk. See, he talks right there. He says, D like, what is he looking for? Like he's being super mysterious. And then he goes into the shed. At this point, the young man goes into the shed. And according to Alex ring cameras, he never comes out. The only thing I would say is I've got the ring camera and sometimes, sometimes it doesn't pick up. Like if it's just recorded and then it can jump in again, like very occasionally. Maybe, maybe there was a bit of a glitch there, a bit of a delay or something where it stopped recording and then that's when he left and then it started recording again just straight afterwards. I don't know. The same day policemen checked the shed and there's no one there. Strange, isn't it? But it gets even stranger. The next day, Alex ring cameras capture an older person leaving the shed. This is as mad. If materialized out of thin air. So the time traveler leaves the shed the next day and goes off screen. And, and he's got the same type of walk. Let's go, let's be honest, right? He's got the same type of walk. A lot of people think I'm hiding the front camera footage of him leaving because they think this is a skit. So let's look at the front camera and see where he goes. To the front camera, you can see him walking to the front. But yeah, he's looking sus. He walks out the gate. He's looking back at the house. Like, I don't know what he's looking at. You know, suspiciously crosses the street. And then there's a car here. This is when something really odd happens. The old man looks inside the car as if he's looking for someone or something, but apparently there's no one inside. Um, and he like looks through the passenger window and then it's going gonna, it's gonna to stutter a little bit because it's going between clips, but he looks through the passenger window and then just continues walking. A few That's what I'm saying. Sometimes it stutters when it goes in between clips and stuff. May he, maybe he's looking into it because he's like, wow, look at this, like either modern looking car, right? Or he might be looking at it going, oh, that's a classic, <laughs> right? A few moments later, however, the car turns on, makes a U-turn and goes the same direction as the old man, as if it was waiting for him. Now, this part's a little creepy because when he looked through the car, it looked like nobody was in the car. Like, that car was sitting there for a little bit. Drives off. Really strange, isn't it? But here's where things get even stranger. Mate, this is Alex crazy. videos caught a lot of attention and the internet was divided. Some people believe that this is the real deal, while others think that this is a very elaborate hoax, and it could be. But then, yeah. an internet profile by the name of Maddie Eisrantz started digging around. So What's that? It's a... It's a glitch. Ring needs to fix this issue because it happens to me all the time. Yeah, I think where it doesn't pick up sometimes. Movement or whatever. An internet profile by the name of Maddie Eisrantz started digging around, so he did a reverse search on the old man. And what he found may actually prove that this is not some elaborate hoax. So here's a kid that went in the shed next to the guy that came out of the shed the next day. And when you search the image, it looks like this guy, Stephen Albert Miller. And that's his picture from Quora, where he asks questions about time travel. So Maddie does a reverse search and comes across Stephen Miller, who studied at Harvard University and was very interested in time travel. What? What a coincidence, isn't it? But it doesn't stop there. I also found an obituary for Stephen Albert Miller from 2018, July of 2018. And there was only one person that posted like a little tribute. And there it is right there. So I uh, searched that person in the book of faces, found another tribute, but this one is dated 2017, saying that he died in 2018. 
To make things even stranger, Maddie also found an interview with Stephen Miller. But Steve also had a design, like a graphic design website, very in-depth interview with him. Very interested in sound, uh, like frequencies and resonance, and metaphysical transference of consciousness. He also came across a website that states that Stephen Miller had a house in Florida. But the shed is located in Florida. Steve also has a previous address of Sarasota, Florida. Hmm. Now, if Stephen Miller what? is indeed a time traveler or not, I'm not exactly sure and I guess that no one is. But if we slow-mo and replay both videos of the young man going inside the shed and the older guy getting out, it seems as if they're legit. There's no explanation to what's going on here. Not only that... Like, uh, uh, what? Like, I'm really pushing myself to believe this, right? Because if somebody says, okay, how much are you going to bet? I wouldn't bet any money that he's actually a, tri a time traveler. I wouldn't bet any money. However... Because I'm not betting, I'm like, I'm pushing myself. It's so strange how it all adds up. It's so strange. And there's too many strange coincidences. Yeah. Could both the young and the older man be the same person? And are they actually Stephen Miller? Or is there something else entirely going on here? But when it comes to unexplained and mysterious glitches caught on camera, it doesn't stop there. Oh in this particular God, video, a security F? guard notices something strange at 6.45 a.m. in the morning. He was just about to leave his shift on the second floor of a building he works at, when all of a sudden he notices a man standing in the middle of the street. It's when he checks the security cameras that he notices that something's not right. This is what he saw. He's not on the CCTV, is he? He's not on the CCTV. On the bend there, look. He's not on the CCTV. The security cameras do not seem to be picking anyone up, even though there's clearly a person standing on the middle of the street. After being posted, several... Uh, how, where's this, this, this square here, right? Where's this diamond formation here, right? So we've got the, the path. Cobbled stone here. Internet users left comments. And then, okay. Stating that the man was standing at a blind spot. Yeah, it must be. But then others believe that this is possibly a ghost or a spirit due to the fact that the man does not seem to have a shadow. Wait, 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 wait. So cobbled bit. Okay, so there's the diamond formation, right? And this is the line. He is literally standing down here. He's literally standing here. You can't, it is a blind spot. Comments stating that the man was standing at a blind spot. Yeah. But then others believe that this is possibly a ghost or a spirit due to the fact that the man does not seem to have a shadow. Others also believe this could be a legit glitch in the Matrix. Nah. Nah. I'm not having that But one. it gets even stranger. A couple of friends were enjoying their time at a beach in Brazil when all of a sudden they noticed a shadow being cast on the ground. But there was nothing that could explain it. Check this out. Yeah, Mate, so you see these in mountains and stuff. There's been a few videos about it. I've even done it about, uh, done a video about it. That's weird, oh, man. Jeez. What? Wait. At this point, they get closer to the shadow to check it out. And this is what they caught on camera. It disappears, right? After being posted, internet users were divided. Some state that this is a legit glitch in the matrix, while others state that this is just burned sand. 
Now taking into consideration well, be, yeah. that this is not the first time something like this happens. Okay, see that? Yeah, here we go. Yeah, this is the same thing. But um, I was waiting for them to go closer to the sand, right? Shadow? Where? 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 Where are the clouds? Where are the clouds? It could just be the real deal. However, I'm going to leave it up to you. What do you really think is going on here and have you ever seen or captured a glitch in the matrix yourself? Let me know down in the comments below. Mm. Well, there you go. The last two I've actually seen before. We've seen a couple of times in the top five um, paranormal videos, okay? But we're going to leave it there, mate. James, from That Is Impossible, mate, you've done it again. Absolutely incredible. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked it and I hope you come back for another one. Take care. Bye-bye.